standard range F-150 Lightning guys, over 290 miles. <laughs> this is crazy. So currently it's 4.30 in the morning guys. I'm on my way to a fishing spot about 90 miles from here. I left my house at 3.45 I think. I got about 3 hours of sleep. And usually I love to get to the fishing spot before the sunrise but I thought it would be really really cool to get to my vehicle to 100% state of charge and find out how accurate the mileage estimate really is. Now if you saw my last Electrify America charging video I was never able to get to 100% state of charge like ever. But since then I did receive a software update so I'm hoping this works. So I started at 48% state of charge and in about 18 minutes I was able to get to 78% state of charge but let's find out if I can get to 100%. Oh, it's happening. Hey, heck yeah, 100% guys, let's take a look. Now to get from 48% to 100%, it took about hour and 40 minutes. Now that last 10%, it took like forever, right? It was like going at like six kilowatt. But the whole entire thing, about half a tank, cost me a little over $23, but what I'm really interested in knowing is, what is the mileage reading right now in the car? 295 miles, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so that can't be right, right? So what I'm gonna do here before I go fishing is, try to reset this whole thing all right just so you can see trip two is the whole entire duration of my ownership of this vehicle i'm getting 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour so i need to go ahead and reset basically trip one right bam so let's go all right guys we made it oh man it is now what time is it 8 16. all right here's the trip summary so we have travel 94.4 miles took a little over two hours and now it's saying it's got 191 miles left people people uh that's about 285 mile ish in terms of estimate instead of 295 so it's only off by like 10 miles i thought we we're gonna actually lose a lot more so if you saw the screen i'm averaging about 2.9 miles per kilowatt hours so that's pretty efficient now most of the road i've driven is so far a uh, highway that's like 55 miles per hour speed limit and a lot of the back road on the country they're like 45 to 50 miles speed limit so I was driving about maybe five miles over and some of the back road have signalized so I did have to like come to a stop using my regen braking so this drive so far is pretty much what I do every single day back at home but what I don't get to do is go to fishing in a beautiful place like this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but first I gotta whiz. <laughs> I whiz a lot in this channel, don't I? I'm so sorry, guys. This is just a lot of waiting, you know? All right, so I'm gonna do that first. Let's go fishing. Now, to save your time, I'm gonna go ahead and forego the fishing vlog. I mean, I didn't catch anything big. I caught like a couple small fishes. I did actually take my kids to the exact same spot, so I do have a possible vlog coming up later in case you want that vlog. But to focus on the topic, how much can you stretch a standard range F-150 Lightning's range, and how accurate is the miles estimate given on the dash? But make sure you watch until the end because I'm gonna actually give you guys two results on this and the last result is pretty unreal. So when I got home that night after a long day of fishing, my vehicle was stating that I was getting 3.1 miles per kilowatt hours. Now I'll talk about how I was able to get that kind of efficiency later in the video, but note that in the corner, the temperature is reading 72 degrees and I'm not losing much battery energy to the exterior temperature variables. So for the whole entire fishing trip, I traveled just shy of 230 miles and 230 mile is the EPA estimate range for this vehicle. But I was still reading I had 57 miles left on the state of charge of 22%. Now during the fishing trip, I try my best to drain the battery. I mean, I went to a different town to eat lunch. Yeah, this is probably the only time I'm like trying to drain the battery. So we're not done quite yet. So if the trick computer is correct with 57 miles left on the range, that means that this vehicle could potentially get more than 280 miles per full charge. So to find out on the second day without charging after dinner, I went out to go just drain the battery all the way down as much as possible. I was still a little bit nervous though because I've never been to below 15 miles left of my battery before. Let me ask you in the comments, like what is the lowest battery level you ever been to? So here's what happened that night. Holy cow guys, I made it. <laughs> I just kept driving back and forth between two charging stations and I wasn't gonna push it further than this guys. This hits me different than a 5% left on the iPhone. Yeah, let's see how much battery we got here. Yeah, 4% battery left with 11 miles to go. I mean, oh my God. I mean, like I could keep going. I mean, I could. Check this out. Trip energy. 
This is my current trip going back and forth between two charging stations. Uh, I stopped by to take a couple photos. Yeah, it was cool, you know, <laughs> trip's not totally wasted. I am surprised it's 12% exterior temperature though. Um, I started with 80 degrees, so maybe when your battery's pretty low, this has a pretty huge impact on it. But this, yeah, this is gold. 290 miles, guys, yeah. Oh man, so entire trip, we have 93% route, 2% accessories, and 5% exterior temperature. Uh, I did not use any AC. Um, it's kind of cool outside, so I used windows instead. Just like Electrify America, you know? And I could keep going, guys. Yeah, if it wasn't like nighttime and there's no way I could get stranded, maybe I'll push it, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna push it right now. But it is crazy. <laughs> Standard range F-150 Lightning, guys. Over 290 miles. <sighs> Yeah, I know, right? As amazing as that sound for ending this video, um, we still can't end this video without charging my vehicle to 100% state of charge at CCS station, especially Electrify America, for two reasons. One, I wasn't sure if the software update was the reason that this vehicle was now able to get to 100% charge at Electrify America. So that's one. And two, now that my vehicle has seen what it's like to go from 100% almost down to 0% in state of charge, what would be the estimated mileage now so I went back to the Electrify America station that I had the most problem with on my last video. In fact, I found the exact same charger that failed on me last video, right? So I crossed my fingers and yeah, it was able to charge to 100%. Now I wish I could say it charged to 100% without any issues, but it gave me this error message. So my vehicle thought it charged to 100%, but the charger thought it charged to 99%. So not perfect, but what's important is that look at the mileage estimate, guys. 300 four miles estimated for full state of charge. Because this vehicle has a huge range in power, the efficiency can really go both ways. Like you guys seen those videos when it tows or when you do anything that hinders the aerodynamic of the vehicle, the mileage just drops. However, if the conditions very ideal, like I did inflate my tire like one PSI over since it's gonna be colder later. So one PSI is not a huge deal in terms of safety. I don't recommend doing anything more than that, but the tires are slightly more pressurized in this scenario and I never really got to drive over 70 miles per hour during this trip even on the highway. Now one more thing I did was turn off the pro power on board so every time you turn on your vehicle it's on by default especially for the mid section of your vehicle and it seems like every time I turn that on the accessory power drain is a lot more than usual. So yeah the estimated mileage on this vehicle's dash is fairly accurate long as you follow the previous driving conditions and habits. Now this extremely high mileage might be coming to an end because uh Winter's coming. So I shared with you guys this picture on Instagram recently. So it was a brisk day. So when I started my vehicle, before I even hit four miles, it was reading that 29% of the energy spent was affected by the exterior temperature. So that's quite a bit, even though it's not even that cold yet. It was only like 60 degrees when I started the vehicle and started driving. So that's a little concerning, the fact that I don't have a garage, guys. So I live in a townhouse. I cannot charge my vehicle on my house. So my vehicle is gonna be just sitting out there in cold in the winter time. So that's gonna be an interesting documentation. Thank you so much for watching until then, guys. Till next time, charge on. Low EV battery, yeah, Google, was this Apple? Apple Maps telling me? Wow, that's kind of cool. Yes, um, I'm here, guys, I'm here. You don't have to worry about me.